That boy's thick. What's up, my friends? How the hell are you? We're back, bitches! That's right. Karen Control is on the motherfucking case. I told you guys last time, the Karens are ramping it up, so we are too. And I tell you what, they're escalating. Something seems to have emboldened the Karens. I don't know what it is, but now we're in an epic, classic battle of good versus evil. So welcome back to Karen Control. Roll it, Dwight. We're not doing this today. So, smash like if you enjoy the video, and if you're new, don't forget to subscribe to join the Thick Squad. I fucking love you forever, and I mean that when I say it. Look here. I love you. So, YouTube, in all their infinite wisdom, seems to have somewhat shadow banned Karen videos. That's right, folks. I'm afraid they're on the side of the Karens. It's a damn shame. I don't know if y'all heard about the Deaf Noodles situation, but he made a Karen video and it got demonetized. Clearly not a factor for me. Plus, I don't give a shit. I'm never getting monetized. But the important part is they told him that, get this, y'all ready for this? No, you're not. Karens are now a protected class. I wish I was fucking kidding. YouTube selection, hate or discrimination towards a protected group based on race, age, or other natural characteristics. So you're telling me that according to YouTube, people can't help but be Karens? I guess according to YouTube, people are born Karens from the womb. That's why this baby's first word was manager. They've literally made Karens a protected class. Bro, what the hell is 2020? Ha are we close to 2021 yet? This seems like a decade. We've officially gone too far with this stuff. Comedy is dead. It's officially dead. Put it in the ground, six feet under. Break out the bagpipes. She gone. R.I.P. Comedy 2020. By the way, Karens are not exclusively middle-aged white women, if that's where you're going with this. Karens come in all forms. How many times do we have to tell you? We've had black and white Karens, male and female. Karen is not an intrinsic characteristic that you're born with. You're not born a Karen. It's an attitude. It's about being a hateful, entitled douche nozzle that needs to speak to your manager. Well, despite YouTube's wishes and the fact that my Karen videos will not do as well anymore. I bow down to no one. I took an oath, and I can't let Karen win. So not only is Karen Control back, but it's popping harder than ever, baby. So strap the f in. For our first hateful customer of the day, we have, get this, a woman who walked into a store refusing to wear a mask. I know, that almost never happens. Shocker! But I do have to say, this one is special. She's been called by other Karen experts the final boss of anti-mask Karens. So this should be good. Let's dive in. I'm here because I'm sick and tired of rules. All right, sweetheart. We don't like to. I, do you think I want to wear? Yes, I do. Yes, I, I do, do not want to you wear. You are ashamed. Have to just wear like the rest of them. Why don't you people you educate yourselves? Oh my God, she's like all the anti-mask Karens combined into one life force. I'm afraid. It's what we've always feared. Getting too old for this shit. I'm too old for this shit. People like to. I, do you think I want to wear? Yes, I do. Yes, I, I do, do not want to wear. You are ashamed. Have to wear just like the rest of them. Okay, literally no one likes wearing a mask. No one. Our bosses make us do it, you dick. You know how I feel about masks. I don't give a shit. If it helps at all and it makes you feel better, I'll wear one. Plus, daddy can't take two weeks off of work. You think Karen Control can go two weeks without me? Hell nah. Why don't Sorry, you people you educate yourselves? She keeps saying educate yourself. Why don't Sorry, you people you educate yourselves? That's right. Education, bitch. Learn about it. But you know what I like a lot more than materialistic things? Knowledge. You need some How am I doing? Now? My critic you? Do you really want me to answer that? If so, um, no. Not especially. You're really close to Are me. you afraid? You should run away. I don't like But you have you your are. super mask on. I'm trying to protect you. <laughs> I don't need protection from you. Oh, you just touched me. I oh, really wish no, you had. I touched you. Oh, boy. 
Oh my god. Warning. We're experiencing extremely high levels of Karen that may reach toxic levels. Take the appropriate measures and report to the Karen control. I would stop interacting with this person before she goes full Joker on this place, okay? She's about to Arthur Fleck out in here. Here, I, I'm gonna get caught. No, you're probably going to give it to me. <laughs> I, oh my god, listen to that laugh. Oh, holy shit. I, she has the evil Karen laugh down, dude. She could play a Karen in a movie. Who would have guessed that this little thing, right here, would cause so much shit and such endless enjoyment from crazy Karens? Thank you, Mask. I appreciate you. Are you gonna leave? Look at you. Are you what gonna leave the store? Are you gonna leave the store? Oh, that voice she's doing is so cringe. That is making me wildly uncomfortable. It's making me like nervously itch. Oh my god, what, what are you, six years old? Don't tell me to educate myself if you're using the I know you are, but what am I defense? Miss me with that, Karen. Are you going to be more aggressive to another person? Do you still? Would you please leave? Oh, I'm aggressive? Oh my god, you see how she immediately dropped that? This is like when your brother's being a dick to you, but then his vibe just completely changes when your dad comes in the room. I'm aggressive to another person. Do you still? Would you please leave? Oh, I'm aggressive? I'm aggressive? I mean, yeah, kinda. You're getting an inch away from this girl, trying to breathe on her, while simultaneously mocking her voice. I mean, you're not coming off great here. I hate okay. yeah. The thing I wanted to say, which wouldn't let me say, oh, to my face, right? When you, when I, if I ever come back here again. Oh, I love it. That Karen's use that line all the time. Well, you've just lost my business. Well, you just lost yourself a customer. That's Karen 101. That's day one stuff. And this just in, Karen. Nobody gives a shit. I don't think this business is going to have to shut down forever over losing one customer. I know you don't want to hear that. They'll probably be okay. They don't give a fuck. And this thing is proven to be a hoax. I want an apology from each and every one of you. I'll come back to say I told you so in a couple of years? Really? Don't do that. That would be insane. Educate yourself. Wait till someone you know is sick, and then you will see how much. Nobody is sick. Is sick. Okay. Wow, no one is sick. That would be quite the conspiracy. There have to be an awful lot of people in on this one. Go for it. Educate yourself. Go online. Please leave and read and learn. Educate yourselves and read and learn. Words to live by. That's some deep shit. Please don't tell me that you thought you won that little exchange. You're acting like you just you just mic drop these ladies. Go on high, please leave and read and learn. Wow, winning. That's how you perceive it. Yeah, there's no hope for her. She's a lost cause. And the anti-mask Karen brings me to our first lesson of the day. Just wear a damn mask, Karen. Or don't go into private businesses trying to start shit. Moving on. Next. For our next customer, we have hard proof that Karens are not just women. Because no surprises here, we've had a male Karen sighting. Or as we call him here, Kevin's. I don't know what's up with these guys, but like I said, they prove that this condition is not only in women. A bitchy attitude can come in many forms. And trust me, this is hard proof. This guy's a cunt. So this Kevin, I shit you not, stops a handicapped man on a bike path who's in a handicapped scooter and fusses at him. And yes, it's exactly what it sounds like. Nice job. Do you have e-bikes on this thing? Uh, this is a handicapped piece of equipment. And? And what? Show me the rules saying that you're allowed to do this. You're serious? Who are yeah. you? Come on, buddy. You're you, breaking the rules at the park. You it's a you? handicapped piece of equipment. I can't walk. You should have led with that. Uh, you did leave with that. I said it. You're, is this your husband? Oh my god, it's worse than we thought. I'm afraid we've come across the perfect storm. Holy shit. It's a Karen who's married to a Kevin.
The thought of this happening keeps me awake at night. Some days you just lose hope. But they just can't do it without me. If there were somebody else to do this job, I'd let them do it. But there's not, so we're doing it. If anybody gets that movie reference, you are now my best friend. Class act, brother. You're a class act. You guys are a class act. You know the rules. Class act. I mean, I mean, you're to be there. Bro. Yeah, dude. Wow. Really? Really? You're mad that a handicapped man is on your precious bike trail. You had to move out of the bike trail for like 30 seconds tops. It wasn't even that long, was it? And he's like legitimately mad. Ugh. I'm sorry. If any of you are, I apologize. Hopefully, I'm not talking about you. But guys who are serious about bicycling and have the cute little outfits can be such tool bags. What? Show me the rules saying that you're allowed to do this. Where's the rules that says you're allowed to do this? Really, Kevin? You need to speak to the manager, pal? Hello, this is Parks and Recreation Office. This is Brandon. Hello, yes, my name is Kevin. Is this the park manager? No, this is Brandon. Yeah, well, I need to speak to the manager. Now. Okay, please hold. No, I will not hold. Give me the manager now. I'm on hold again. Ridiculous. Boss, we've got another one. Line one. <sighs> Fuck my life. Hello, this is Steve, the park manager. How can I help you? Yes, finally. So, my name is Kevin, and I'm on the bike trail. Okay. And there's a handicapped man in a handicapped scooter on the bike trail. I don't even know if he's handicapped. He's probably faking it. He's acting like he owns the joint. That's ridiculous and inconsiderate. I know. He is being ridiculous and inconsiderate. Finally, someone with some sense. I'm clearly talking about you. Wait, you're talking about me? Okay. He Wait, hello. Hello? What is it with dudes on bicycles? God, what a prick. It's a handicapped piece of equipment. I can't walk. You should have led with that. You should have led with that? Seriously? Should he? Should he have led with that, Karen? He just said it was a piece of handicap equipment. You dumbass. You think he's just a normal dude who kicks it around town in a handicap scooter just for the fucking laws? You should have led with that. Unbelievable. Okay, Karen. This brings us to our second final lesson of the day. There you have it, folks. People in handicap scooters? Usually handicapped. For God's sake, man. Okay, okay, I think we've done enough work for the day. I'm pushing overtime anyway here at Karen Control, but make no mistake, we'll be back very soon. If you want a couple bonus lessons, bicycle riders are douchebags, don't be a Karen. And yes, I'm talking to you too, YouTube. Don't be a Karen. Although the CEO's name is Susan. That's a synonym for Karen. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Smash like if you enjoyed the video. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe to join the Thick Squad. I'd fucking love to have you. And you know what I say. You can't put a price on love. Remember that. I've got multiple videos coming out very soon. We got another This Weekend Crazy. In it, we've got TikTok stars teaching people how to steal. And the Pope himself turned simp. Don't miss it. I'm also very excited to announce I've got a new series starting very soon called The Fat Five. It's my version of a little watch mojo swag, except, you know, mine's actually funny. Thanks again. I love each and every one of you, and I'll see you real soon. I'm Fat Man Jones. I'm out. Stay thick, baby. All night, all night, you ain't call me, but it's okay, it's all right, I'm popping hobby. Been doing alright, that is right with that jolly I'm rolling good, I'm feeling nice, bitch, you can stop me All night, all night, you ain't call me